it's hard because you want people to understand, but you feel like people just sometimes don't understand chronic pain means chronic. Um, I'm just sick of having to cancel stuff. Hi, I'm Wara, and I have something called endometriosis. Having something that never goes away is a really hard concept to grasp, even for someone who is living with it. The extra steps that I have to take every single day just to be comfortable and just to exist in a way that's comfortable for me is something that I wish the average person understood a little bit better. I decided to kind of detail what a week in my life living with endometriosis is actually like. It's Saturday and I woke up at 5.48 a.m. in pain, which I know because I immediately looked at my phone to figure out what time it was. I was supposed to go hiking with friends, but as soon as I woke up, I knew that there was pretty much no way I was even getting out of bed. It was one of those days where I could tell the pain was about to get really, really bad to the point where I probably wouldn't be able to walk later. And since I had just recently gotten back from a week vacation, I had no food in my house. One of the problems with my endometriosis is I have a lot of trouble with my diet. There are only certain things that I can eat without causing an intense flare that lasts for days. So with the last couple of months of my life, I've been trying really hard to stick to a diet that's pretty much as anti-inflammatory as possible. So when I woke up at 5.48 a.m. in that amount of pain, I knew I had to think quickly. So I dragged myself out of bed, got myself in my car with all of my might, and immediately went to the grocery store. As soon as I got home from the grocery store, I immediately got high. Weed is the only thing that even remotely touches my pain. And it's not that it makes my pain go away, it's that it makes it tolerable enough for me to be able to just fall into like a comatose state and just forget about it for a few hours. You can see my handy dandy little weed grinder. This is an Indica. I use Indica a lot, Indica Strain, because it's a body high. Um, and this is my handy dandy little pipe that I will put it in to smoke. After smoking, I sat on the couch like a zombie for the next nine hours. It's now Sunday. I wake up with less pain, but I'm still in a considerable amount of pain. So I make a decision to go see my acupuncturist that morning. I see my acupuncturist at least two times a week on top of seeing my physical therapist and my chiropractor. After acupuncture, I had a little bit of relief, but I was still so emotionally and physically exhausted from spending the entire day before in a state of just constant pain. All I could think about was how many times I've had to go through this in my life, and before I know it, I was in a very dark place, feeling very depressed. I'm lucky to have a very good therapist who actually has chronic pain herself, so it's very easy to talk to her on days like this. I knew that if I didn't go talk to someone about it, I would only continue to spiral more. After a solid hour straight of sobbing on her couch, about how many days I've lost to being in pain. I went home, got high again, until I could fall asleep. By Monday morning, I was so anxious to get out of my apartment and talk to people that I woke up at 5.45 a.m. I had some lower back pain, but compared to the levels on Saturday and Sunday, it was like a breath of fresh air, so I decided to take my dog on a hike. That's the thing about chronic pain that I wish more people would understand though, is that one day you can see me on the couch unable to move for eight plus hours at a time, and two days later I can be walking up a mountain. It doesn't mean that I don't have pain, it doesn't mean that my pain isn't real, it just means that like everything in life, it varies from day to day, and after over a decade of dealing with this, I've kind of figured it out for the most part. I'm getting ready for work, so I'm packing up my CBD stuff so I can take with me. This is a rub that I put on my abdomen and lower back throughout the day, and then this is actual an actual vaginal suppository, which helps a lot with my pelvic pain. I obviously have to go into the bathroom for that one, but they're both going into my work bag because today is not a good pain day already, but I already missed two days of work this week, so I don't have much of a choice. Once I finally got to work, I sat through a lot of meetings, but by 4 p.m. my abdomen hurt so badly that all I could think about was getting home. I just got home from work maybe 15 minutes ago, immediately put on my pajamas, putting my rice filled heating pack in the microwave and smoking immediately because my body hurts so bad. The last two hours of work, literally all I could think about was getting home and doing this exact thing. It's like, I probably should have just left early. But on days like today, and when you're constantly taking sick days, you kind of have to figure out 
oh, should I take today off or should I wait in case it's worse tomorrow? Lately, the mornings seem to be the time when my pain is the least. Like I have the least amount of swelling. I wake up and I'm feeling pretty good for the most part. So I've been doing my best to take advantage of them. So I went on another hike on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I chose to sleep in until 7 a.m. I put on the same stretchy yoga pants that I'd worn already twice that week because wearing jeans that aren't loose and boyfriend cut or wearing anything that's tight on my abdomen is just not an option for me. I went to see my acupuncturist first thing in the morning, second time that week. I spent so much time at acupuncture today because of my pain that I think it is permanently etched onto my body from laying on the table. I went directly to work after that until around 4 p.m. where once again the pain got so bad that all I could think about was going home. I cannot express to you enough how difficult it is to think about anything else when your body is in so much pain. Today was one of those days where my pain was bad enough to annoy the shit out of me and make me really upset, but not bad enough to actually stay home from work. I am in my car getting ready to go to physical therapy for the second time this week. <sighs> it's gonna be good. I mean, I don't really like look forward to coming to physical therapy. It's not fun to be like reminded that I'm sick for an hour twice a week, but I know that it helps me and I know that it'll be worth it in the end. Pelvic floor physical therapy is another thing that I try to do twice a week. Because I was already in a pretty aggressive amount of pain that morning, we didn't do any internal work, but instead we focused on stretches and other things to help alleviate some of my pain. After physical therapy, I headed to work yet again. As soon as 5 p.m. rolled around, I went home and immediately put rubs and ointments and heating pads all over my back and lower pelvic area. Um, it was a bad pain day, but it was Thursday night. It was close to the weekend. And I told myself, if I can just get through this, then I'll have time to rest this weekend. Friday morning, I head to see my therapist, my mental therapist. This was my second time this week, but I am so lucky to be able to have a therapist and not only just a therapist, but someone who actually has chronic pain, who understands it and who gets it in a way that I think is so vital. Dealing with pain every single day is the hardest thing I've ever had to do, hands down. And it's not just because my body hurts every day. It's because of the mental repercussions. It's because of thinking about all of the days that I've had to lose to pain or all the people that I've had to cancel plans with or all the things that I've had to miss out in my own life because of something that I have no control over. Even on my worst pain days, I will continue to fight back in some way. Even if it's barely a fist raised in the air, the fight will still be there somewhere inside of me. It's hard not to let these illnesses define me and it's hard not to feel like they have control over my life. But instead of shying away from it, instead of avoiding what it is, I'm just choosing to embrace it. I have endometriosis and it sucks. It really sucks, but it's not everything. It's not all of me. It's not who I am. It's just a part of me. My life is more than just endometriosis. And no matter how many bad pain days I have, that won't change.